Hey, what's going on, ninjas? It's Super Ninja 2000 here for part 10 of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. So, yeah, once again, it's been a while since I've made a video of this. The main reason I haven't been recording this is because I've been sick recently. And I am feeling mostly better now. So, yeah, let's play some Wind Waker. So, we're going to do the auction house in this episode and attempt to get the swift sale. Any failed attempts, I am going to cut out. I just need to hope it's not more than 363 rupees, because that's how many I have now. I would like to participate in the auction. I'm fine with that. I want the swift sale! The auction's about to begin, yes, when you suppose our item will pop up as our e item this evening. Hopefully the swift sale. Really tempting offer, but no. Alright, let's see what's going to be this time. Yes! Alright, I'm going for this. This is the item I want, right here, the swift sale. So what you have to do here is just spam the A button to bid. Now I've seen some people on like YouTube like wait for a bit, except I accidentally pressed it too fast. I'm gonna go for... 112. I'm gonna let these guys bid a little bit. Just letting them bid a little bit. Okay, I guess I'm bidding. I'm going to go for 146. Excuse me? Alright. That's a 30 second warning right there. I'm waiting until like the last second to like increase the bid by like a lot. I'm gonna go for 192. Not bad for a kid. What, never seen a kid in an auction before? Now we're going to play the waiting game again. I'm going to go for 275. I should probably get another bid ready. Gonna do one last bid. I'm going for 336. I'll just take that swift sale. I'll just take that. 
because I'm a big spender. All right. We've got our swift sail. Let's head out. Okay, I'm gonna check the map real quick. Alright. So the other good thing about the swift sail, you don't even need the wind waker when you're sailing anymore because it'll just follow the wind direction. I actually want to head this way, southwest, because I'm trying to get to this square, which is gonna continue on with the main quest. <clears throat> <coughs> Yes, I know I'm still coughing. Like I said, I have been sick and I'm, I'm feeling mostly better, like I said before. And actually, in case I run into a map fish, I should probably get my bait ready. Okay, I've got six pieces of bait left. Okay, watch out for seagulls here. And sharks. If you do run into a shark, you can just jump over them, not a big deal. Like this. Aha, I see the map fish. Stop the boat. And for those wondering, yes, there is a way to kill the sharks. Obviously. Alright. What's the sound called? Tingle Island. Alright. Yeah, this is going to be a actually pretty big place later on. He wanted to grow up and act his age. He dressed like a little kid. That is not normal. Still, from right here, he can decipher maps like nobody's business. It just goes to show you that you can't search a person on the appearance alone, Fry. Of course, the thing about this tingle, guys, is that when it comes time to pay his deciphering fee, you better be ready to fork over some serious dough. Anyone who doesn't have a deep wallet won't be reading any maps, that's for sure. Which, the cost for that is actually almost 400 rupees. But we're not doing that yet, so... We're just not going to worry about it right now. We're not going to be doing that until, like, actually close to the end of the game. Aha, I see there, shark. Are you really just going to do that the whole trip? If you're going to do that, then I'm going to do this! Locus in 2000. Do you see it? What has happened to this place? This is Great Fish Isle right here. What's the meaning of this? The island. It is. We are too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Oh, there are in 2000! Hey, the postman's here. I don't see a post box here, though. So you're here, I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit Jaboon? I'm sorry to report to you that Jaboon can no longer be found here. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this, too, is the work of the Shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not, Jaboon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess what that abode may be? On the island where you were born, on outset. 
Yet even if you were to go to outset now, you would not be able to see Jaboon. The cavalry hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. <laughs> I must apologize, SN2000. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it'll be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought for the consequences. I also know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky that they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what, I do not know. If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers dark clouds and rain. Valu must have been right when he asked me to bring word of Jaboon to you. He called this island cursed. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to, but that is their decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. And we got Tingle Bottle right here. It's inappropriate right there. Meverse is ending in five days. I'm recording this on November 2nd. So, Meverse is ending in five days from the day this is being recorded. Hashtag rip Meverse. Let's get that off my screen. The reason I'm going here, I'm getting a piece of heart. And you may notice a withered tree up here. We're gonna deal with that later. I believe you want to have the wind blowing northeast for this. Actually, I think north. Luckily, you don't have to watch the cutscene again. If you play the second time. Crap. Oh, I can make it. Aha, I made it. Alright. I think I actually want to have the wind blowing northwest for that for that for that actually. Can't see anything today. Alright. Peace of hearts number five of forty four, I believe. So Jabun has survived! The sea spirits have lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the Rito Postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jabun hides. Why don't we go first to Windfall and search for them there? I was just there! That's how I got this swift sail. Gotta check my direction real quick. Okay, I gotta make a right. Ah, oh, frick, I forgot to get the map fish. Oh well, I'll come back for him, because I'm gonna be stopping by Great Fish Island again later. So, yeah, I'll get the map fish when I come back there. Ugh, I hate sharks. Especially when they're really persistent like this. At least they'll knock you out of your boats like they did in the GameCube version. But yeah, we're gonna be having this thunderstorm for a while. Yeah, a few times I can barely tell where I'm going because it's so dark. 
Oh. I saw that shark in the distance. Not this time. Lag. Alright. It's just that the postman told us the pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. You can still see it pretty well. I did not know what they are researching, but if they're hoping to get their hands on Jaboon's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. SN2000, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without them finding out about you. We're gonna go ninja mode. Well, I am Super Ninja 2000, so this shouldn't be a problem. You just jump that. You don't even need a sidle right there. Or siddle, however you pronounce it. Okay. Just go in this hole here. <coughs> Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely gonna have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? Yeah, if you went here before, he would charge you like 10,000 rupees for bombs. So I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask Pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yeah, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't believe you. I still can't get over that bit of fast talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, the man that said as in 2000, I knew he was hiding something back at the outset, yeah? So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I wasn't worried about the kid and stuff, and presto, he spills the beans. Good work, Gonzo, really just top-notch. It's funny, though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've so shown such wit, such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra's smarts, if you took up married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. You idiot! Keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so stupid! Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you talk him some pay or something? Quit goofing off, both of you! Keep your childish jokes to yourself and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outside Island. What? Miss? We have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? I'll like grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead. I mean, uh, I I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss, is what I mean to say. It's just that the boys and I were so excited to come to town, yeah. And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So what say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? Th that structure isn't going anywhere. Or is it? You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? You're all fools, do you know that? You saw the demolished island, you saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry on the outset or the same thing could happen there. Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're more worried about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, the treasure. Oh, I've been seen. Alright, fine. Have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. But we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in. Understood? Aye, aye! Say there, brother. What was today's password again? Mako, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. This part is important right here. This pass was plankton, yeah, remember? This will vary, by the way. You know that Nika won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right, and he's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's password is plankton, yeah? Plankton, eh? Like I said, your password, the password varies, so yours may not be the same as mine.
But with that, I am going to end off this episode. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. In the next episode, we're going to head to the pirate ship and see if we can get some bombs from there. And then we'll set sail to outside island. And I'll see you guys next time.